In this video, I'm going to talk about what Inkscape is, um, where to get it. I'm going to just explain a little bit about it because a lot of people keep asking in Facebook groups, what is Inkscape? Um, first of all, you need to know that you should download it from inkscape.org only. If you Google Inkscape, you might come up with a .com site or something other than inkscape.org. Um, and you may get malware on your computer from those sites. So it's very important that you only download it from inkscape.org. And I use the 32-bit 0.91 version on my Windows 10 computer. It runs fine. I don't have any glitches. I don't have any crashing. Um, some of the other versions like um, 0.92, when I tried that, I had um, crashing. Uh, when I would try to import images, things weren't working right. So there's nothing that I can't make in the 0.19 version um, that I could make in a different version as far as cutting files go. So this really is all you need. If you're a Mac user, you want the 1.0 version. Um, so Inkscape is a vector editing program. Um, when you download an image, let's say from Google, um, it's most likely going to be a JPEG or a PNG file and you need to convert that to an svg file in order for your cricut machine to cut it so you need a vector editing program to do that because when you cut your blade um follows the lines that a vector image is made of uh jpeg or png is made of um pixels they're little tiny squares all put together to make that shape. And so when you upload an image to Design Space and you try to clean it up, a lot of times you'll see little bits left over around the outside of your image or around the outside of your text. And that's because of those pixels. Um, with an SVG file, which is a scalable vector graphic, SVG, you don't get that. So let me show you an example here. I have um, a vector image and I have a PNG. So if you look down here in your information bar, it says path. If I click on this one, it says image. Um, I can adjust this to any size that I want. It could be a thousand. Let's just do it. If I change this to, let's do 1400. I'm going to have to do it this way. Let's get to the edge. Now, can you see those? How jagged that is? Okay. We're at 669% here. Um, if you upload this into Design Space and you don't get rid of these little corners, it's going to cut exactly like that. So let's do six, what was it, 669 for this image. And as you can see, it's smooth. I can go all the way up. I'm at 25,600% right now, and it's still just a straight line because the um vector images are made of lines connected i hope that makes sense um so when you download um an image off of google you want to make sure that the image resolution is at or higher than a 500 by 500 um because otherwise even tracing an in inkscape which is path, object, path. I mean, I'm sorry, trace bitmap, forgot where I was here. Um, 
and you get a vector image from that. Well, let me just show you. If I go to path, trace bitmap, and click OK, and I move this off, as you can see, it's a path. Okay. Um, now, this is going to cut at any size. This here is not. It, like I showed you, if I increase it, um, you can see the pixels. This one is a vector image, and I can increase it to 21,000, and there's still a straight, smooth surface. Okay. Um, let's see, where was I? You don't need a simple um, image to be an SVG file in most cases. Um, when you do um, import this into Design Space, you'll have a cleanup screen. If you always choose complex, no matter what the image is, um, and then you'll have another screen on the left. If you look down towards the middle, I think it is. It'll say advanced options. If you change that color or color tolerance to 100, then it's going to get rid of a lot of those bits, if not all, for sure. Um, but if you download a PNG or JPEG and it's at 500 by 500 resolution, um, it should be fine as far as tracing in Inkscape and maybe uploading into Design Space. I'm not sure about that. Um, sometimes some will be fine and some won't. Um, now, when you're in Inkscape, images that you want to cut, if it's an image, you have to convert it. So you would just go to path trace bitmap like I just showed you, and it always goes directly on top of the image. So you want to grab that, move it out of the way, make sure it says path at the bottom, and then delete your image. Um, because if you don't delete that bottom image and you try to upload into design space, it's going to give you an error because you have um, an image and a vector in the same um, same image that you're trying to upload. So those are just some things about design space. Um, another thing is even with text, <clears throat> you may get a uh, text flow error. If you click OK to continue or continue to continue, then if everything shows up as it's supposed to, then it will cut as it shows. Um, if you're missing something, like let's say we save this entire graphic here with the text and the um, the circle. The circle is a path. The text is text. It has not been converted. So if I were to save this, and upload it into Design Space and click Continue, the only thing that's going to show up is the circle. The text, the text won't show up because it was saved as a scalable vector graphic, and this is text. It has not been converted. So um, that's that. Now, I have a ton of videos. Start with one video and you can stop it you can rewind it if, if i'm going too fast you can pause it um and do that video over and over until you can do what i'm explaining in that video without having to watch it so if i had this on the screen and i converted or i drew the circle converted it to a path typed out the text converted that to a path, saved it all, and imported it, and it came out as this did in Design Space, then you're good to go. Go on to the next video. 
if you try to start at one video, go to the next, you know, follow follow me on screen, go to the next, go to the next, go to the next, um, you're going to end up confused. So you want to get down the process of each video before moving on to the next. You can just start with a, a, a shape like this and um, text and do that and import it and see if it comes in fine. But you do need to know how to convert it. So um, save as a plain SVG and import into Design Space. And I went over the import errors, just click continue. Um, there's there's some kind of error between the two programs that you'll get an error message, but when you continue, it comes in fine and it, it works, it cuts fine. So um, uh, let's see. These path functions in Inkscape only work with paths. So if I were to select this PNG file and go to path uh, outset, which normally, well, let me show you what it does. Path outset, it adds, let me duplicate that and I'll make it a little smaller so you can see what happens. I'll turn that blue. You make it a little bit bigger. And then I'll go to path object to path. And then I'll go to path outset. And as you can see, now if I hold control and hit zero, that's also path outset. It grows um, the image. But if I took this and I duplicated it, and I made it smaller, and I turn it red, it won't turn red. Why? Because it's not a vector image. It's a PNG image. And Inkscape works with um, paths, not images, not pixels. It works with paths. Um, let's see, what else? I guess just take your time to learn each video. Um, and if you don't like the way that I do mine, find somebody else, but stick with one video until you get that process down and then move on. It's not something that you're going to learn in a day. I mean, look at all these, you know, all these icons, all these um, things that this program does. It does a ton. But um, you need to learn simple stuff first. So just take your time. Don't get frustrated. If you get frustrated, chances of you coming back to it and trying to learn it again are, your chances are not very good because you're going to be frustrated and you're going to say, forget it, I can't learn it. But you can. It's once you get the hang of it, it one day you're going to be working in, in Inkscape and it's just going to click and you're going to go, oh my God, I got this. So just keep trying. Um, if you leave off on one video, you get frustrated, go back to that video. Don't go to the next one. Go back to that one um, and try again. Like I said, pause the video, restart it if you have to. Um, ask questions. I'm in the Facebook group. There's a link in the description below this video. Um, a lot I'm in there, so you can ask questions and tag me or just ask questions. There's plenty of people in there that know Inkscape as well as me. So um, I hope that this explained a little bit about vectors and images. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or like I said, go to the Facebook group. The link is in the description. Request to join. We'll get you in there and you can ask questions to help you learn. You'll be happy that you learned it. Trust me. <laughs>